Hi friends, welcome back to Decorate with Dana. In today's video, we're gonna be doing some more Christmas decorating. And I also wanna share with you a farmhouse stocking tag DIY. These turned out so amazing and for a fraction of the cost that I was finding them on Etsy and online for. So I'm really excited to share those with you. So I will start with the DIY and then we'll get on to the Christmas decorating part of this video. Okay, for this stocking tag DIY, at Hobby Lobby, I purchased three dow square dowels. They were a half an inch by a half an inch by 36 inches. They were $1.99 each, but they were 50% off, so I got all three for $3. And then I purchased a piece of plywood, and it's a quarter inch by 12 inches by 24 inch piece of plywood. It was $7.99, but it was also 50% off. So I got that for $4. So $7 total in supplies and I have plenty of wood left over. So I started out by cutting the dowels down to size. I have eight three and a half inch pieces and eight five and a half inch pieces of dowel. And then for the plywood pieces, they're three and a half inches by six and a half inches. So I am taking my dark walnut stain and staining each piece of the dowels, three sides. I don't need to stain the side that is going to be glued down. If it has a little stain, it's fine, but it does hold a little better if it doesn't have much stain on it. So I'm just staining each of those and then I'm going to use my Waverly chalk paint in white and give the little pieces of plywood one quick coat. And then when that's done, I'm going to be taking my polycrylic in matte and just putting a coat on there because I am going to be using my Cricut vinyl to put our names on. But again, if you don't have a Cricut, you could easily do this with a stencil um, or if you're if you can do calligraphy or something that would be beautiful as well So once everything dries then I'm going to use my wood glue and glue down each of the sides Basically, I'm just making a little mini frame So that comes out so well that so easy to just glue those down and I let those dry for about at an hour or so but that was probably even longer than I needed to but I let them dry for about an hour and in the meantime I went to my Cricut and just typed out texts to match whatever I wanted the look to be so you could make it whatever you want to be um, I wanted it to be kind of a cursive writing and just made sure it was the size that was going to fit properly in the frames and then I just put the um, words on each frame to make the tag. A sunny day, but it's cold outside. It tingles in my heart. Breathing air that clears my mind. I'm all for a good start. I hear the jingle bells, people singing about love. It feels like I'm a kid, like I'm forever young. And that's why I want to sing about the Christmas on its way. A reason to hang around and celebrate this day. Everyone's smiling and it's snowing. It's the time of year again. I'm happy you're here, my winter wonderland. I'm walking around making small talk with people that pass me by. I share a laugh, it gives me joy that everyone's having a good, good time. I hear those jingle bells, people singing about love. Like I'm a kid, like I'm forever young And that's why I want to sing about The Christmas on its way A reason to hang around And celebrate this day Everyone's smiling And it's snowing It's the time of year again I'm happy you're here My winter wonderland No 
It's the time of year, winter wonderland. My winter wonderland. It's the time of year, my winter wonderland. My winter wonderland. I wanna sing about the Christmas on its way. A reason to hang around and celebrate this day. Everyone's smiling and it's snowing. It's the time of year again. I'm happy you're here. My winter wonderland. Oh, my winter wonderland. So the last thing I wanted to do was just drill a hole in one side. And I have this thinner kind of buffalo plaid ribbon and just wanted to put the ribbon through so that they can hang around the outside of the stockings. So I just wanted to cut the ribbon all the same length so that they would all hang down about the same length. And that's it. These turned out so, so beautiful. And just like I said, for a fraction of the cost, literally I made each one for probably about $1.50, which is amazing. So I would love to know if you guys are going to try this. And if you are, I would love if you follow me over on Instagram at Decorate with Dana, I would love for you to tag me so I can see how they turn out. It's white outside And the night is cold Everyone's lighting candles in their homes Yes, it's Christmas It's a magic time You can feel it in the air That every child Okay, so now we're gonna get decorating my office. This is the seven and a half foot flocked tree that I purchased from Walmart last year. Now I did say in my last video, I love, I have a love-hate relationship with flocked things because I think they're beautiful, but they're so messy. But I will honestly say this tree has very little fallout. I'm gonna try to link this tree that I got down in the description box. I highly recommend it. Like I said, very little fallout and it, you know, is seven and a half foot. It's beautiful. It has memory wire. So it kind of, there wasn't a ton of fluffing that needed to be done because once it kind of unfolded, a lot of it took back its shape. So this tree is amazing. And I think it was $159. It was very, very affordable. And so again, I'm going to try to link this one down in the description box. With so much love And with joy and laughter Let us make, Let us make Memories that stay Forever It's Christmas Today So now I'm just going to add that DIY chunky knit garland that I showed you how to make in a previous video. Um, I just love that it's white and it's fluffy and I don't know, I'm trying to keep this tree back, you know, pretty neutral. However, I do have some touches of red and I love the touches of red with the flocked trees. I think it looks so pretty. So I am kind of keeping the same little woodland animal theme that I did last year, but I am adding, like I said, a little bit more touches, subtle touches of red with the little ticking stripe bulbs that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so for my topper, I'm gonna to be using these various picks. These were ones that I picked up last year on clearance at Pier 1. And then these I used last year. Some have pine cones, some just have like little frosted berries. So I think I'm going to use this as the topper for the tree. So 
So overall, I decorated this tree pretty minimal. I didn't crowd it with ornaments everywhere. I tried to space them out. I do think that is one of the nice and beautiful things about flock trees. They don't actually need a ton of ornaments and they still look beautiful. So I last year I did ribbon and I really put a lot more ornaments on but I just don't think that I need to, and I just really like the kind of less is more minimal approach to the decorating. Let's go outside, the snow is falling down, and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me, with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Get all the Christmas songs that we love And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Mm-mm, so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents as long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you Ooh I'm making plans for what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk we can follow the moon light till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you If you've been here for a while, you know I've had this bookshelf between my two windows. I tried to move it over here by my desk. I just didn't like it. So I ended up taking it out and relocating it for the season. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh Christmas memories. Oh oh, la da da da. Oh oh, la da da da. Oh oh, la da da da. Making our Christmas memories. I've been wrapping presents for you. I've been hanging marbles in the 
tree and I've lit my house with Christmas lights so you should come back home to me and when we wake up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love we'll be singing all the melodies until the sun comes up these are the good times with you baby this So if you are new here, um, people that have been around, they know I don't generally pre-plan exactly where everything's going to go. So I do a lot of playing until I feel like it's how I like it. And even then, things may change after this and you'll see the, the final result in my home tour. But I don't generally pre-plan. You kind of see my thought process and see things work out as I go. I just like to do it that way. I can't always just think of exactly how I want it to look. Don't even care what we do if I spend it with you. Mm, just you and nobody else. It's so good to see you again. To see you again. Baby, this year it's just gonna be you and me.
So this is the way that the room looks right now and how it looks in the evening is so beautiful with the tree and the candles lit. It really just looks so pretty. So I want to thank you all so much for watching today. I hope this video gave you a little bit of decorating inspiration and I hope that you enjoyed the DIY. I'm super excited to decorate with those. That will probably be one of my next videos coming up. So thank you all so much for watching. If you are new, I hope you will consider subscribing and follow me over on Instagram at Decorate with Dana. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in my next video.